Hello everyone, let's talk about the auto jump. This is really handy utility that lets you move around essentially. So when you want to change to a directory, you use a change directory command cd, right? But it becomes really cumbersome when you have really deep hierarchy. Even with the autocomplete, it's really cumbersome to move around. But with auto jump, you can move around really quickly. Say I want to go into that folder again. You just need to type jump and some pieces of your path. There you go. Now we are in this folder. Sometimes you want to open this folder with your finder, right? And you just say jump open. And now you have your folder. So you can think of auto jump as a really intelligent CD command. The problem with the CD command is that you sometimes have a really deep folder structure and you just need to type everything. And that means it makes you hesitate when you make folders, especially with more descriptive and useful and longer names. But I think being able to move around efficiently means that we can just make folders and organize our file without any fear. By the way, I'm sure that some of you may be thinking about the Fudge Finder, FCF. It is definitely a much more powerful tool, but I think it is also a little bit more complicated. So it will be a topic for another video. So AutoJump solved the problem of moving around by guessing where you want to go based on several characters we type. And the key idea is just the fudge matching with the recency and frequency based ranking. So when you type some characters, it looks at all the folders that you have visited before and try to match the characters to the past. Every directory that matches the pattern will become a candidate. For instance, if you type j drop te, this will not only match Dropbox teaching, but also Dropbox test and any folder that contain drop and te in the past. And once you find these matches, AutoJump ranks them to get the most relevant result. The ranking is fairly simple. It's based on recency and the frequency. So if you have visited the folder recently, it's more relevant. And if you have visited the folder 100 times, then it should be much more relevant to the folder that you almost never visited. So by using these principles, Horizon guesses my intention and takes me there. And actually, you can see the relevant score by running Auto jump with S option. As you can see, if I visit the new folder, it is recorded in this file. If I visit a folder, it increases the relevant score of that folder. Let me visit that folder again. Yeah, it keeps increasing the relevant score. So as you can see, there are only three folders listed here with the score assigned, right? So that's an important caveat of auto jump. So it only knows the folder that I have visited since I started using auto jump. And actually this is where the fudge finder has a stronger edge. But once you visited the folder, it's recorded here, and then the auto jump recognize it. So if I create a new folder and try to jump to that folder, it doesn't recognize that folder. It doesn't jump to the folder even though I typed the exact name. The reason is I never visited that folder using the cd comment. Once I visit that new folder, I can jump there. And here you may have noticed that auto jump 
go to some directory, even though it was not a perfect match. It's because Autodump used fudge match. If you look at the source code, you can find that there is a this find matches function. And it makes use of three different match functions. And one of them is match fuzzy. And if you go to the definition, uh, it makes use of the sequence matcher in the diff loop to find the match. So it doesn't need to be the perfect match. OK, so now we understand how it works under the hood. So how can you install it? If you use Mac, you can use homebrew. Just say brew install or jump. For other systems, you can check out the homepage and it has uh, usage instruction and installation instructions. And as you can see in the documentation, there are four main comments, J, J-O, J-C, and J-C-O. J is for jumping to a directory, but you can do J-C, which is just looking for the child directory of your current folder. If you attach O, it open file manager instead of jumping. Another tip is that the tab completion work with auto jump. Although usually you just type something even without thinking, you can still use the tab completion to choose from possible options. For instance, it shows all the options, and you can type the number and it takes you to that folder. Okay, I think that's about it. This is really, really simple utility, but it's super convenient. I cannot imagine living without it after using it for a while. And as you move around in your computer more and more, it recognizes more folders and it lets you move around more quickly. I hope you find it useful. Thank you for watching.